Hey, Vincent here, and in this video, we're actually going to talk about my first impression of Zhongli as the Geo main, or some people call me Geo God, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Yo, update. Uh, this first impression is supposed to come out sooner, but it's come out later because my house ran out of power and my files were saved on the desktop. So by the time you all see this, it's probably back up because um, they said it was because of high winds and it's not that high right now. So I don't know why. Four days? Oh my god. But yeah, enjoy my thoughts. All right, I'm just gonna talk out like my thoughts. Like just, just out of the thin air, no, no script or whatever. So we have... We have Zhongli, which is kind of like a jack of all trades, right? And not a master of none. So in this game, it's kind of underwhelming if you think about it that way. Since you have four characters and you can kind of swap in between, right? So if you want to go support, there are better supports out there like Bennett, Mona that you can use. Crowd Control, like Vanti, Sucrose, PS. Uh, his auto attacks are... Let's talk about his auto attacks, right? The auto attacks are pretty bad, right? Pretty low. Uh, Shang Ling, a four star spear user, the only other spear user in the game right now, has 50% more attack than, than Zhong Li. And she's the pyro, right? So you can do reactions and stuff. And then we have the petrification. It got nerfed to the ground, man. It used to be 20% physical damage and for physical and geo, right? during the beta and then they took that off me i don't know why but they could have just left it in or just even have geo but i mean i could be biased uh but i feel like they're trying to make him kind of work only for geo ish like if you're doing geo it's gonna it's gonna make your team a lot better right since we only have like three geo units and then ningwa can kind of just carry her own and then, but then you can totally supplement that out right so but there is no well, right? So we... Anyways, back back to the petrification. Um, it's it's like uh, it's like when you're frozen, right? It's like when you're frozen, that you don't break out of it. But since most of the time, if you're running frozen kind of comp like ice and water, then you're pretty much gonna be freezing all the time. Anyway. But you do have a giant freaking radius where that meteor hits. So you can kind of just CC the heck out of it. Of course, you have Venti for that. So I also suck that in. But it's kind of like taking part of Venti and like the area affecting and then taking the ice mechanic and putting into one. So it's not, it's not too bad, but it's just okay, right? It's cool though, though. He's hella cool. And aesthetically, he is, I, my opinion, he's aesthetically look better than Venti, right? better looking Archon and his skills are cool. His auto attack is pretty cool. You guys summon that freaking media from the sky, right? And so as, as a Geo main, he synergizes very well. He's powered up your team though. Cause now, especially if you're using Geo Traveler, right? Uh, you can totally resonate with his thing. So as long as you, if you build Geo Traveler like I did in MC, right? I throw like 10K rocks. And I don't even have a Geo Cup. I still need I still need to get one, so it increases damage even more. And and then we can use that to resonate. Since I'm already setting it up anyways, resonate with DOT. So we can also like have like a, a area trap zone. <laughs> so if we if you put the wake up earth, right? The, and then you have that as that's like four constructs already. And then you have the pillar in the middle and resonates with all of them. Only, the only downside is that you can only have three geo constructs at one time per person. I thought it was per character, but it's actually per person. Um, excluding Geo Traveler Ultimate Burst, of course. So you have four right there, and then you have one rock, and then you have a pillar, you have another pillar or a rock, um, depending if you have C1 or C0, right? I have C1 now, and I was like, wait a minute, how come I only get three? Um, it's like a blessing and a curse at the same time, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why later. But um, you can kind of make a death trap, um, wake up the earth, you get that 10% crit, and then you're like making it resonate and launching, then you can kind of keep them there with the petrification. So it kind of synergizes well with Geo Traveler, so that's why I feel like he's mostly made for Geo Traveler. It's kind of weird. 
Uh, Ningwa can kind of help out at the same time, but her screens kind of get blocked by the pillar, of course. So um, it can be like, just like regular Geo Traveler, it could be kind of annoying. But at least his pillar is like skinnier, it's like a shaft. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, let's, let's go back to what I meant to talk about earlier with the blessing and the curse of, of um, having three constructs out at the same time. So now you can actually kind of cycle them, right? You know how before you can't blow them up, uh, the, the Geo, Geo Traveler rock balls, right? Uh, so now that you can cycle through them, it makes it a lot easier because then there's only a four second cooldown for the pillar and then you have the rock ball and then, oh, you have Shaft and the rock ball. Okay, okay we'll go with pillar, we'll go with pillar. The, 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 the pillar and the rock ball, right? And then you, can, then you can summon another pillar if you have C1 or you jump another rock ball. And then you can just summon another one and then it'll blow up one of them and then you can do more damage in that area. The only thing is you have to keep, you have to have the enemy nearby. But since you're kind of like making your area of trap zone here, or uh, yeah, your, your, your death zone right there, you can kind of just kind of keep him there. As long as you can keep him there, you do a lot of damage. So, so that's one of the things that is the blessing. But then you can't do like, I mean, it's a blessing, but it's also cursed because you can't have like, it's more apparent since I have a C1 now. I can't have like four things. I wanted two pillars and I can summon the Geo Construct and then I put a rock and I want to put another rock and another rock and then have like all that synchronization or just trap them in there. Just put a rock at the entrance of the wake of earth. Put another rock there, a rock there, two pill oh, oh, pillar, pillar, rock, rock, and rock in the middle or something. I don't know. A pillar in the middle, rock, 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 and another pillar stand there and just poke them in. I guess they don't want us to cheese, but um, that that's that's my thought with Geo Traveler there, right? All right, so let's talk about my build right now. I am building him with Gladiator and Petra set. No, 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 no. I know everyone's telling you to do like Nobles and stuff like that, but I'm I want to work on his elemental skill. And his burst at the same time. Because I feel like... Um, why is this damage so low? Because it's a DOT, right? It's a damage over time. Um, it is kind of... It is kind of Pepega because... Or underwhelming in a sense. Because you get, what, 2% for a talent upgrade? I'm like, what? So a lot of people are building on ultimate because you see that big PP damage, right? You big that PP damage. But I feel like over time, it, you can totally synergize and have that depth zone with the elemental skill. So that's what I'm going for. And then the petrification is kind of the like support and the big damage. You can kind of keep them there, hitting them and then just go boom. So once in a while you get that giant boom and you have the GOMC with more boom and boom, right? So the GOMC starfall sword, right? Come from the sky. Zongli meteor come from the sky. And then we have Zongli's shaft or pillar come from the ground. And then you have Geo Traveler's MC, uh, Wake of Earth coming from the so I feel like yeah that that's another reason why I feel like he's more <laughs> it just could be just you know just just some random speculation um with with Geo Traveler and Zongli so that's why I have Gladiator it kind of boosts overall and um, sometimes may do other attacks uh, we'll go over my kind of team comp that I kind of run pretty nice. Because I'm running with like characters with like low elemental skill cooldown. And I can just keep cycling through them whenever I want. Uh, so we can talk about the sets here. So a lot of people are running Nobilis and Petra set. Um, it's because you get that big PP damage for the ultimate. want to capitalize on that. That's fine. Uh, you can run Gladiator. I kind of want to run Gambler set if they had a 5 star version. Um, you can also go like Berserker or Martial Art. No. That's that's if you want to go physical. So yeah, those are kind of the sets. Um, you can go for Peace Nobilis if you want. For like full out support, you can go run HP if you want. Uh, I'd rather build him as uh, like you would any other attacking character. Get HP stats or um, whatever substats you need. But yeah, there, there are different options you can build him. Whatever you kind of want. Whatever you need. Right. There's also physical damage. You can go, you can go uh, Bloodstain, you get the Crescent, Crescent Pike. I'm using a Royal Spear because uh, I don't have access of a 5-star. 
don't have a death match or anything or black cliff hole i think that's what it's called yeah so that's 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 why i'm using a row spear um it's nice i cannot build crit i can just go crit damage get some extra crit sub substat to make sure you kind of have like a decent base and then um you kind of just scale up I, at one point i went to 80 percent, and i'm like that's like cap dude five stacks right and i um you kind of i guess you can five minutes one would be kind of worth it. If you go to five and two, you get like another two percent. That's not much of an increase. You get a what twenty percent increase, and then it gets lower and lower as you increase. And then your your you went from eight to ten, and then you're ten to twelve, and it, I mean you get two percent each, but it's not much of a it's like a diminishing return thing every time you do upgrade. Um, but if you do have extra of those uh, exchange dust things, you can go for it. I'm having fun with it though. Uh, it's not bad. Um, I have a decent amount of crit damage because I'm using a crit damage helmet. Um, and I'm using Geo Cup and Attack Hourglass. So the main stats I kind of you kind of want to go for would be, of course, crit, crit damage, uh, attack, attack percentage, I mean. Uh, flat rates are kind of weird, but sure. Uh, HP percent, it can help you because of the talents and stuff. And the energy recharge is nice. So probably energy recharge and then HP. Uh, that's just like an extra bonus. But we can go talk about the talents. So for talents, we have is regular combo. His combo is freaking sick, right? He kicks the freaking spear. The six attack, um, where he does just a freaking poke at the end after he kicks the spear, isn't that great? Um, so I usually would just dash out of it or cancel some way uh, after you do the kicking spear. It, Kick it, it'll just spin out there, you can do something else, right? You dash out of it. That's totally fine. Then we have his pillar, right? Summons when his summoning summoning it doesn't even do that much damage. Um the resonate is nice. I got it to like what 1.6 right now and my stuff aren't even fully upgraded. So I can't wait to have like a lot of DOT over time with different um elemental stuff out at the same time. Um but um, I have to level up my stuff more to catch up with my other characters first, and then I'll see how that goes. His ultimate is pretty... looks hella nice, right? I will have order. And then... or I will have order. And then the meteor comes down, petrifies everything, freaking big radius. It's super cool. Um, it's decent. It's okay damage. Um, it does, what, like 640 right now? Level 6 talent right now? That's pretty nice. And then the then the one that usually people talk about is the the ascension four, where thirty three percent of your max HP is added to your ultimate attack, so you can capitalize more on that ulti. Um, but I feel like you shouldn't concentrate too much about it. But having HP is nice, right? It actually also affects your shields for your J J shields when you do your hold E thing instead of just the pillar. So that, that's not too bad. Um, I, I don't know. I kind of want to get C2 just because I can just keep cycling uh, through my characters and not worry about the shield because I'll just do the ulti um, whenever it's available, right? And then and then just get my shield that way. Um, but yeah, then you can just only use it just to get big other people's heals stuff. All right, let's go with my team comp right now. For the Abyss... I have like Ningua, Noel, and then other team I have Zongli and Geo MC. And um, we're not gonna concentrate on the Ningua and Noel group. It's kind of yeah, like bees over there. And then on this side, I run Chengyun and Bennett, right? So I have a healer. Bennett is my healer, and then I have Chengyun to put the ice. Because a lot of this need ice and fire sometimes, or maybe even water. Um. And then I'll just swap Bennett with Barbara or something. Or 10. And we have Zhongli and GOMC. So they, they all kind of have low cooldowns. Like Bennett has 4 seconds as well. Especially if you get um, Ascension 4. And then you have Zhongli. If you just put in the pillar, also 4 seconds. If you do the whole thing, it's 12 seconds. And then you have GOMC, only 8 seconds. I think Chengyun is also like, what, 8 or 12 seconds, I believe? Let's see. His skill 
Elementals. Cooldowns, 15 seconds. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, let's talk about my team comp. And if you didn't notice, I think as I was recording, it keeps getting darker and darker. Now I'm like in. Ooh, spooky. All right. So I'm running uh, Ningua Nova on one team, but the focus on Dong Li and QOMC. And then I have Bennett and, and Chung Yun. Chung Yun, I have C6 because, you know, I was pulling <laughs> for Zong Li. And I think his Constellation 2 gives you a cooldown reduction on his. E skill which is nice right so i even have even lower so i can kind of cycle in between bennett if you do ascension four you get like the four second cooldown uh so i just quickly just do the whack i don't even charge because i just get the whack so i can just get the uh, energy orbs um and then we have zongli with four seconds and then geo mc with eight seconds so i just keep cycling through and i get a lot of energy so i don't really need energy recharge because good thing i didn't go energy recharge I did have a Fofonius Lance, but I was like, nah, I want to I wanna get some attack. I don't think I need energy. Um, since I want to concentrate more on his E instead of his uh, Elemental's Burst. So that works out well. And then I can just keep cycling through and I get, I just make my death zone, right? And I could do Bennett to make another zone. And then I use Chongyun to make another zone. And I just pretty much doing a kind of a zone type DPS kind of thing. So as long as I'm in the zone, right? Oh, um, I can do I can do like the decent amount of damage. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's pretty nice, and then you can keep busting out OTs because then you're doing elemental skills so often that the low cooldown you just hit them, and then it's even though they're resonating, um, if you switch to a uh, same element, right? So I'd be resonating, switch to the MP, uh, and I do my rock stuff. Mostly, most of the time, I'll be switching in between these two. And then once in a while, I'll switch to Bennett to get, like, a uh, power buff. And then Chung Yun to get the ice uh, field in there to get faster attack speed for some apparent reason that I don't even use. But um, but I do use MC to attack more than I use Zhong Li's attack. So, but, it, yeah, it kind of depends um, how I feel and what I want to do. But it, it's nice. It's nice. So I have, like, a death zone trap. And... Yeah, so that's that's my thought of team composition so far. I haven't pl tried playing with any other kind of team comps right now, but it's very good with low cooldown comps and you have dev zone. And it's fun. Zhongli is fun. That's all that matters, right? For me, Zhongli is pretty fun, really cool, better looking than Venti, and hopefully you guys enjoy my thought process and thoughts like that. And um, if you have any dots, put in the comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more Genshin videos. Since I'm a Geo, I'll probably cover more of the Geo cons uh, concepts and concepts. What I'm saying, concepts. And follow my Twitch stream. I do stream Genshin most of the time. Stream raiders on the side. So just come by the stream. If you have any questions? Um, I do have some viewers that are pretty knowledgeable on team comps as well. Um, I do know some of them, um, but not a master at. I'm a, I do know some of them, but I'm not a master at all, okay? Except for Geo. Because I'm Geo God. Later days.